What's good, YouTube? Nanny94 here to um, essentially show you guys this awesome project done by Master of the Elements on Roblox. It's a essentially a sword art online map. And it's done really beautifully. In fact, it almost looks exactly like the game, except everything's, well, blocky. So without further ado, let's get into it. Skip the ad. Roblox is now loading. Get ready. Starting Roblox. Okay, looks like you guys can see my current character now. Well, you will be able to see my current character. If I can get it to load. Oh yeah, that's right. There are times where you have to reload it. I think it's one of the bugs he's actually working on. Like, it's really cool, and it's actually been teaching me how to play um, PC games with the full-on WASD keys, and the mouse is the cursor. Or crosshairs. Now we wait, because this is one of the few, uh, I don't want to say bad sides, because I know what it's doing, it's a huge map, so it's got to load up, but uh, it takes a while, and the recording software I'm using right now only records up to 15 minutes. I might have to restart it again. Nope, never mind. Okay, now you can't actually see my uh, in-game sprite, or not sprite, in-game, in-game model, but they actually have it to where you can uh, have, there's a character customization in New Game. Like, as you can see, my hands, I've got, um, the snow cloak from, I forgot what episode it was. And as you can see up there, up in the corner, I should probably extend, I should probably extend where it's recording, so give me one, there we go. Now you should be able to see up in the top, uh, up in the top left corner of the screen, you should be able to see the HP bar, my username, and my level. And I'm going to open the menu. See? It's almost exactly like the game, and this game actually has a death penalty like Sword Art Online did in the anime. The death penalty being that um, your progress in your skills goes down if you die. I've actually been working on trying to level up some more. And I forgot to equip one of my swords. Some swords you can't have until you reach a certain... 
you can't use until you reach a certain level. So my strongest is the my strongest weapons are the crystal weapons, or actually my strongest weapon is Arion, a uh, one-handed straight sword. As you can see, I've got battle skills, night vision, battle healing, and slash, which really helps out in a jam. They've also got, um, at the very least that I have seen, three bosses from the actual anime. I think. I don't know, I'd have to actually get back to you on that one. But I actually enjoy playing this game a lot. Of course, you could probably tell that by the level 42, but I found this about um, a couple of months ago, and I've been wanting to show it, but I had like no way of actually showing you guys on YouTube. Now I can actually show you guys. If I pull, if I pull out Q, I should have at least unsheathed my sword, unless I haven't pulled it out yet. I'm trying to actually remember how to do everything still, but I know a WASD is to move, clicking is to attack. Well, we'll find out when I get to a boar or something. Okay, there we go. I've got something out. My hand there. Yeah, I've got something. The stamina bar is actually very important underneath the um, HP, too. In fact, I actually plan to do this episode to show you guys... plan to do this episode to show you guys at least the first floor boss. Ill thing, the kobold... kobold... He's, that's a really fucking na hard name to say. Why the fuck can't I say it? Ilbold the Col Ilfang the Kobold Lord. I'm gonna go kill that boar real quick, because why not? Just to at least show you that it is very much like sword art. You've even got the red crystal above en enemy enemy NPCs, and it does that, but where they shatter into crystals, it even pops up and shows you the EXP and the uh, money you got. Now let's see if I can actually do, actually pull this off and get to Ilfang in time before the game decide, before the recording stops. Otherwise, I'm gonna have two videos of this today. I'll also be uploading another episode of Yu Gi Oh! GX and Sacred Cards today as well. I'm just going to run straight into the next town. The dire wolves are actually fairly easy once you get to a certain level. And some enemy enemy, enemy PC NPCs will actually come up and attack you instantly. But this is one of the most amazing sword art maps that I've actually seen here, apart from another one, but nobody plays that one anymore. I'm assuming because this one is m more like the actual anime's in-game thing. Customize, create your own character and everything. Heck, my character has blue hair. Actually, that's one way I could actually show you guys what my character looks like, but we're at nine minutes. So I've really got to speed shit up a little. 
and we're gonna go straight in, straight ahead and attack Idlefang. The dungeon's actually easy, but I have actually fallen off the map before in the side of the tower that's supposed to lead to the next floor of Eidencred. And I keep getting out of the webcam frame, and that is not a good thing. I know it looks like I'm bored, but I'm actually having a blast. The only thing I actually hate is the people who... Holy shit, what the fuck happened here? Two swings, death. Okay, let's get this shit on the road here. Get, hurry up and get to Ilfang before my last three minutes are up. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to redo an episode. Restart an episode. Fuck. There we go. Now let's see if I can actually, um, speed things along here. I think I probably forgot that I can actually pause the recording, but there's no way in hell I'm going to pause the recording and take away some footage. Okay, there are a lot of people. This will be actually really fun to pull off. Aw oh, man, they've already killed Ilfang, fuckers. Get the fuck out of my way, asshole. At least let me kill a ruined kobold sentinel so I can set up the recording again. At the very least, pause. Alright, we are back and Bill Fang has finally responded. Or respawned. Here's the fun tricky part, because like the boss is on the actual um, anime, he has four health bars, or however many health bars. So I'm going to immediately aggro Ill Fang because, well, I'm level 42, not much he can do to actually hurt me. In fact, I just used the sword skill. I think I got 71 from Ilfang, actually. And that was essentially the first floor of Sword Art Online, the game... The... The game is actually more fun than what I've showed. It even has quests for you to level grind up your character. Which you can literally abuse over and over again to essentially double the XP, the EXP you've gotten on your quests. So. I will see you guys in the next video, and I'm out.